Hello and welcome back to Oh Boy Reviews. Today we are going to be looking at a toy that I picked up in a shop in Bristol. You can check out uh, their website, the link will be in the description box below. Um, they are a chain, they've got a few stores scattered around. Um, they were really helpful, really friendly in store. Um, seem to have a good amount of product knowledge which is great. Um, but yeah, check them out. So what we're we looking at today? Today we are looking at a toy by a company called Toy Joy for fun. And it is the power plug and penis ring. So the presentation is very, very nice, very, very clean, very, very minimalistic as you can see. Um, on the side of the box you've got a little rather crude image of how to use the toy. Um, the back of the box, again, very, very, very minimalistic. Got a website address up here for the company. Now I've been and checked out the website and there's nothing there. It just says under construction. So I've not really been able to find out anything about the people that make this toy at all, other than they're in Europe. So let's open the packaging and take a look. So this is um, basically uh, what I think is called an anal lock. So this section here, you pop into your bum, pop that inside you. This section comes up between your legs and then this section here stretches over your cock and balls. So you've got your cock ring and anal stimulator. So in theory, the principle is you've got this inside you, and you've got this wrapped around your cock and balls. So when you're having sex, what's going on up this end is gonna be stimulating uh, this section here. So you're gonna be feeling what's going on up here in your ass, which in theory is a really, really nice idea. With this one, and this is the only one that I've tried so far, I wasn't massively impressed. Now, I tried this on to start off with. I thought, you know, I'd see how it goes, see if you can wear it for a period of time, um, because I like, I like to wear plugs and things for extended periods of time, like throughout the day at work and stuff. And I thought maybe this would be a nice way of, of doing it because you're going to have, you know, you've got that cock ring on as well, as well which I quite like because it kind of lifts everything up and makes things look bigger. But that's general. So with this one, I wasn't massively impressed. Now this anal plug section for me personally wasn't big enough. I'd like to see um, a bigger girth on the bigger ball um, and possibly on the top ball as well to be honest. And most likely a bit of a longer stem there as well. Now it's super soft, very, very soft, um, and quite stretchy. So you're gonna be able to, no matter how big your package is, you're gonna be able to get this around. It let me down somewhat. I popped this in, lubed it up, popped it in, pulled this between my legs, and strapped that around my cock and balls. The first thing I noticed was this section here was too short. Now I didn't notice in store, that they had any different sizes, but this was too short. So once you've got this on, uh, you know, imagine this is your cock, it kind of pulls your cock and balls down, which wasn't really, really great for me. I didn't really like that. The other issue I had was trying to keep this in. Now, I don't know if it's because I use plugs and I use quite large toys, well, not large, but bigger than average toys. I struggle to keep this in without it falling out I really, really had to kind of really clench my ass to keep this in place, which wasn't good. And if I'm having sex, the last thing I want to do is have to worry about keeping my ass clenched to hold the plug in place. Really don't want to have to do that. It's going to kind of take away from the experience. It's not great for me. And even if you, you know, have a bit of a, a wank whilst you're wearing this, I didn't really get a lot of feeling from this because like I said, I'm trying so hard to keep that inserted and in place in my arm. This section at the base of the plug being very, very short, that kind of means that you don't really get much of this bit inside you. In fact, this kind of sits almost just at the entrance to your anus. So it doesn't really go in very deep. So you kind of slightly open around the, the lower half of the ball which 
wasn't really great and again that doesn't help with keeping it held in place and if you kind of push it in deeper and kind of swallow up some of this this section here again that's just going to make this short which is just going to tug your cotton balls down even more what i did also try was to just put this around um my balls and not my cock um but again that just pulls um your balls back somewhat um and you're not really going to get the stimulation anally with this that I believe was intended by the manufacturer or the designer. So all in all, I wasn't really massively impressed with this toy at all. I did try using it with using very, very little lube to try and stop it from slipping out so easily. That was somewhat better. I even tried, uh, you know, just moistening it with a little bit of spit. Um, so you're not using lots of lube. That helped a little bit, but again, it's, it still doesn't really stay in place very well for me. Now that just might be an issue with me because you know if, if you use anal toys a lot, you might have stretched yourself out a bit. So I don't know if that's just me or if it's gonna be the same for, for most people, but I wasn't massively impressed. I didn't have sex with this on because like I said, I don't want to have to be concentrating on trying to keep this plug inside my ass whilst I'm trying to have sex with somebody. It just doesn't um, make much sense to me. It really doesn't. Would I recommend this to somebody? Do you know what? I probably wouldn't. Purely and simply because I didn't think it was very functional. It might be okay if you're new to plugs and if you're new to anal play, but this might be a little bit scary to somebody who's who's new, I don't know. But I I wouldn't, I don't think I would recommend it. I'm sorry, Toy Joy, if you're watching this, but it needs some work. This section here needs to be a bit longer. Um, and I would also consider making this a bit bigger for more experienced anal players. Um, and extend the, the the neck on this section as well. Rating wise, I would probably give this three out of 10. Cleaning wise, very, very simple. Rinse it under warm water, good sex toy cleaner, leave it to air dry and pop it back in the packaging for storage. So in that regard, nice and simple. But as a functioning toy, an anal stimulator, uh, and cock ring, not so great, I'm afraid. Don't forget also guys, if you wanna get some money off your sex toys, you can use my personal link to the Luke and Jack website where you'll receive 10% off your order if you use my voucher code. Information for that will be in the description box below. I might try and put something up on the screen, I'm not sure. But yeah, there'll be a link in the description box below that you can use. And don't forget also to use my discount code, which will give you 10% off your order. That does exclude postage and packaging, um, but yeah. So guys, if you liked this video, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And don't forget also to click on that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all my latest videos. It really, really does mean the world to me. Also in the description box below, you will find links to all my relevant social media uh, platforms. You'll find me over on Twitter, on Facebook, on Snapchat, and on Instagram. All the information for those, like I just said, are in the description box below. So please do go ahead and check those out. But for now, guys, I will see you next Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and keep on talking.